Now we are able to see so much of data. These are all malware infected IPs, malware infected emails, emails that does automated spams and all that. You know, everything that you see here is likely malicious in nature, right? They call it not just attackers, but they call it the indicators of compromise here. What is the indicator of compromise? It is likely that if there's a communication to a specific IP that is listed here, it means that it is most likely your system is already infected, right? Like that, if there's an email communication with a particular email ID, most likely you are already compromised. So before we get started here, I will just quickly go to sync actions feeds. When I say sync action feeds, you can please pay attention. When I did a Google search, open source threat intelligence tools. You saw virus total, etc. Right now, here these are all blacklisted uh, feeds. Right, see this, there are close to 76 feeds, 76 entries, 76 feeds, and uh, each feed. Right, see, see for the for example, um, let me pull this is a feed from. Fish tank online valid phishing. It gives only that as a feed to us. So this will be coming as a CSV format to us as in to this MISP server. And that will have all the IPs that are having phishing URL, fished pages. Am I clear? So when we are doing a log monitoring, we can do a correlation with this, adding an intelligence to the particular log monitoring solution using MISP kind of databases. And here you can see so many uh, feeds, right? So here you can see the feed of Alien Vault. Here you can see the feed of Open Fish. Here you can see the feed of Fish Tank. Here you can see the feed of Elio. There are so many, so many feeds that are available here, right? So what I'm saying is with these feeds, it is possible I can enable or disable any of the feeds here. Also, you have an option which says fetch and store all feed data, not feeds, all feed data. Okay, which simply means if I click on this, there are 76 feeds there, right? So this MISP, what it will do is it will go, take the data, updated data from these feeds and store it to the MISP server. So the MISP server that we have is not having one uh, feed. It is having 76 feeds. And each feed can likely have 10,000 to a few lakhs of entries in that, right? And there are high chances that one IP can be listed on multiple feeds also, right? This is one. And this interesting part is uh, Alien Vault, which is a popular SIM tool, right? They have an open source community where they are offering OTX, which is open source threat intelligence as a feed. You can have that feed as a part of this, where I think it's already there. Let me search Alien, yeah, you can see Alien Vault reputation generic CSV file from alienvault.com. So what is happening is we are able to pull in some kind of a feed from Alien Vault as well. And it is possible that I can add a new feed right from commercial sources also. You don't need to have a commercial source directly ingested to our uh, log monitoring solution. You can add those to the existing MISP kind of a database where you can still have a lot of value added from the commercial APIs. Right, commercial threat intelligence APIs. Okay, look at this open CTI. Open CTI is open cyber threat intelligence. I'm sorry, yeah. So, here, this is the kind of interface that it gives. How beautiful it is! Right, how beautiful. So, it has IP with the uh, geo mapping, it has the a lot of other uh, data, right? CV related data based on the payloads that is seen and all that. So 
uh, in case you are really keen on adding threat intelligence to your existing uh, open source stack, feel free to con contact me or connect with me. I'd be more than happy to support. And in case your organization needs support, uh, you know, connecting a SIM solution in place with the threat intelligence feed, or if you're looking for open source and commercial uh, threat intelligence feeds, please feel free to reach out to me. I have some connects around that. I'll be more than happy to help you set up those feeds as well and also get started with certain templates to help you get the monitoring started. And in case you also require support for uh, uh, monitoring, we can definitely do it from our end as a team. And apart from we as an organization called DigiAlert offering this uh, as a service, we can also help you set up your own SOC team, your own managed services, and you will be able to still do the same, right? So in case you have any questions regarding OpenCTI and MISP, feel free to post in the question in the comment section below. And also, please do let me know your experience about how you implemented the OpenCTI and the MISP in your organization. Please do that and let me know. And also, first get started doing that on your own laptop. Make sure everything is okay, perfect, and then do it in your organization, right? In case you found this information useful, in case you found this really keen, uh, then please consider sharing this information to people who may want this and consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.